George Washington Carver said, When you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. This could not be a truer testament to his life. George Carver was born into slavery around 1860 in Missouri. As an infant, he and his mother were kidnapped by a band of men who would take slaves and sell them in other states. George was returned, and his owner Moses Carver and his wife Susan raised George and his brother as their own children. George fought many battles and was a sickly child, but always had high hopes for his future and was always excited to learn new things. Carver credited his enthusiasm for education to his mentors and teachers along the way who saw his potential and knew he was someone very special. After finishing high school, George attended Iowa State Agricultural College, which is now Iowa State University. After earning his bachelor's and master's degrees, he was recruited by Booker T. Washington to work as a professor and a researcher at the Tuskegee Institute. George Washington Carver would spend 47 years in Tuskegee, Alabama, teaching students, educating rural communities, and researching crops. At the time, many farmers in the South grew cotton. To build nutrients back into depleted soil, Carver educated farmers on crop rotations and the benefits of growing other crops such as sweet potatoes and peanuts. He brought the classroom to them. Carver developed a mobile education center where he could go from farm to farm and teach about how to grow different crops. He started developing different uses for peanuts and sweet potatoes as a way to market to farmers and the public the great versatility and opportunity these crops could offer. Carver was praised for his work. By the end of his career, he had built strong relationships with other important people, was honored by several U.S. presidents, and earned many awards and distinctions. He passed away in 1943, but his legacy lives on today through his amazing advancements in agriculture, his contributions to the African-American community, and his lasting impact on society. Many schools, buildings, monuments, Stamps and coins now bear his face and name, not because he wanted to be famous, but because he sought to be of service to others. Thank you, George Washington Carver, Agriculture in Action.